Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Scorpio and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too and it's free to sign up and join. So let's see what we have going on for you. So let's, let's, okay. There's the Ten of Pentacles, so there's a large sum of money that's coming your way, Scorpio. And then we have the Ace of Wands that has fallen out. There's the Hanged Man. There, <coughs> there's the Temperance. And then there's the Star. So I feel like you've decided to go here in, in a new direction of your life. You've decided that you want to do something else with your life. You, you want something more. You want something else, something different right? Different type of lifestyle. So I feel like you've decided to really go after that, Scorpio. It's like you, you've reached a new goal or you decided on a new goal here is what I feel like you you want. There's like something different that you want to do. And I feel like you're going to be doing that. Some of you guys may also have like Sagittarius in your birth chart or potentially um, Aquarius in your birth chart as well. Which, if you do, maybe you should go watch some of my Aquarius and Sagittarius videos. I think I just uploaded some. I know I did Aquarius, but I think I did Sagittarius today, too. But either way, oh, look. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. Look, there's a large sum of money that's about to be coming your way. Okay? It's about to be coming. There's a Seven of Swords, though. I don't like the Seven of Swords. There's a Ten of Swords. I don't like that either. All right. But we have the Sun. So I feel like even though there's something here that has ended in your life and you feel like there you got betrayed during that ending, I feel like you're still happy that it ended, Scorpio. I feel like you're happy that you no longer have to deal maybe with that particular person anymore. <laughs> Like, you're, you're kind of like, okay, that, that sucked, but I'm free now. You know what I'm saying, Scorpio? So it kind of feels like that. Now you're at a crossroads of what you're going to do. There's something here you're deciding to take action towards. There's something here you're deciding to manifest, take action here. You're just like, I'm going to do it. I don't care what gets in my way here. There's... Okay, there's also somebody here coming in to talk to you. This is somebody here that's been hanging on to you. They're trying to manifest you, being back in their life. But I feel like you may not be that open to communicating with this person. This person could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius. Also potential Gemini here too. But I feel like you're just not really interested in a conversation with this person at this point. Maybe this person's a part of your family. <laughs> I feel like this person's a part of your family. Maybe these are two people a part of your family, but I feel like you're just, like, the only reason why you really talk to them is because they're your family, but I feel like you don't genuinely enjoy talking to them. And that may sound messed up, <laughs> which I'm sorry, but I don't know. There's just something where it's kind of like, eh, you know, I, they're, I don't know. There's something about their conversations that are just not that enjoyable to you. Maybe because you always feel like there's a lot of drama with them. Yeah, heavy on the Gemini here. Yeah, we have you guys connecting with Archangel Gabriel here, but I feel like... Okay, there's something... I feel like you guys are really deciding to leap towards something with your work. Going back to work. Maybe some of you guys are going back to work here. But I feel like you're excited about your work here. I feel like you're, like, ready. You're ready for work. You're ready to work again. Or there's something... There's something that you're doing at your work again. Death card. Look, death card is yourself. Strength. You're calling your strength back to you. You're calling your power back to you. There's something here you've been undecisive about, and it could be about your relationship, Scorpio, or your relationship. You're having a relationship. Um, it could be your romantic relationships here. Maybe you're unsure about your love life. Of course, this is not going to resonate for all of you. So if you're in a relationship and you're very sure about it, then just, you know, skip this part or skip this video. <laughs> um, but there's some of you, there may be a return of somebody 
and you may be unsure whether or not you want to reconcile with that person. Others of you, you may be kind of single and you may be kind of like unsure whether or not you want a relationship. But potential zodiac signs, I see Leo quite heavily. Leo, Scorpio, uh, Air, Air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be one of those signs. This was either somebody here that was generous to you or you were generous to them. Once again, I feel like if you focus on your career, your your income is going to be going up here and you're going to be celebrating the fact that you're going to have a lot of money, Scorpio. And you're going to be, you know, working. You're going to get to the point where you're going to be working less but making more money, which is exciting to you, right? You're popping up as a high priestess. You're popping up as somebody here that's psychic, intuitive here. Maybe you read tarot or something. But I feel like I feel like there's also somebody here that you decided to ignore. It's somebody from the past. And you have victory. You have ignite vi eh, I can't speak right. You have victory by ignoring your past. Okay? Or or not returning to the past or or just no no. Ignoring something from the past, right? an offer there may be a new money opportunity being offered to you it may require a lot of commitment here but i feel like the pay is going to be good scorpio and it's something here you've been wishing for anyways it's something here that's been your heart's desires anyways scorpio some of you guys may also have air in your birth chart air is gemini libra aquarius yeah i feel like i feel like you're going to have options in terms of your career is what I feel like. So what will you do with it? That's going to be up to you. But I feel like you're going to have different avenues of like money, different income streams here. And I feel like you're really deciding. Once again, deciding on what you want to do with your life, what direction you want to go in, because maybe you were kind of like a little bit unsure, but I feel like you've, you've really cut through some things here, Scorpio, and reach some sort of clarity on what you want to do. And I feel like you've decided that you want to be like this emperor here. You want to be the boss. You want to be the person in charge here. You guys are also popping up as like the wounded warrior here. Or you've been through a lot of battles in life. But I feel like you're deciding to focus here on your career. And maybe, maybe you're going to do something new with your career that's going to be a lot more fulfilling for you. Others of you may have new love coming in. Um, but I feel like you're walking away something you decided to walk away from here it could have been i feel like you're you're walking away from something here that's caused a lot of pain and heartbreak in your life scorpio whether that be a person a place or a thing here but i feel like you're walking away from something that's caused a lot of hurt in your life here yeah you're walking away from it you're shifting away from it you're going in a different direction You're going in a different chapter. You're becoming free from it, Scorpio. You're you're pushing it away. You're you're moving away from it. Is what it feels like. Like you're fighting it. You're like, no, I don't I don't want to deal with that pain anymore. There's a Queen of Wands popping up in your reading. There's the Devil. Okay, I feel like you may have you have somebody here that has an obsession with you, and they're watching you. It sounds like it's raining outside. I think it is raining outside. But either way, there's somebody here that's watching you. They have an obsession with you. This could be a fire sign, an Aries seal, or a Sagittarius potential Capricorn here too. Um, but this person's very overwhelmed. But I feel like you feel overwhelmed by this person. Um, this person either is the Empress or they see you as the Empress here. They see you as some sort of prize, basically, which is part of their obsession for you. I feel like they, they feel like they have to have you. You know what I'm saying? So it's a bit of ego with this person as well, like, and, and not wanting to let you go. Um, what you do with them, that's going to be up to you, but I feel like this person's definitely strange at the same time, or they have something about them that's very strange. Like, they're they're not normal. They're not normal, Scorpio. Um, but for you, I feel like you're focusing, you see, you're focusing here on your coins. You're not really focusing on this person. You're like, yeah, whatever, this person has an obsession, whatever. 
Okay. See, I feel like you're in hermit mode and you're just like, whatever to this person. You're going to receive a message though. Some of you guys could be receiving a message from a cancer zodiac sign. What you do with them, that's going to be up to you. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're not looking at this person either. See, I feel like you're kind of just ignoring a lot of people around you and kind of just focusing here on your future. Scorpio, you're just focused here on what you want to do with your life here. And you're continuing to invest into your future here. There's also somebody else rushing in to speak to you. You see, you're going to have a lot of people, a lot of interest. There's somebody else here that's rushing in that wants to be with you. They want to be in a relationship with you. This person comes in very suddenly, very unexpectedly. But I feel like you kind of don't like it. You kind of don't like them kind of rushing you. You're kind of like trying to force a relationship with you when you're already like, no, I don't really like you. So I feel like you're going to end up just kind of like closing off to this person. This may be another Scorpio like yourself. Scorpio potential Gemini. Yeah, I feel like you may end up blocking them because it's like they just move forward too fast when you've already kind of like rejected them. Um, and there's justice. Maybe it's justice that you block this person. Some of you guys may have financial balance coming into your life, which we do see throughout your reading, but that's, you know, you're closing out a chapter with that person that was trying to rush your way. You're going here in a different direction. Maybe going in a different relationship. There, you know, there is relationship potential. Some of you guys may be buying a home. You have the moon. So you have to be connected with your moon sign, whatever that is for you guys. But I feel like you're kind of just going in a different direction. And it may seem a little bit unknown to you, but I feel like you know where you want to be at in life. And I feel like you're continuing to just move forward towards your goals once again. So, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, so goodbye, guys.